So in this video, we are going to customize the look of our boring terminal from this to this. Now, we're going to be using bash instead of zsh. Now, if your Mac uses zsh, the fastest way to change it back to bash is to type the following command. And type your password. And restart the terminal and you're good to go. The first thing that you will notice when, the, when I open the terminal is that the font is way too small. So let's fix that. One shortcut is to hit command and plus together to increase the font and command minus to decrease the font. But these settings will be lost as soon as you close the terminal. So if I open it again, they're lost. For them to be persistent, we'll need to go into the settings tab. They'll see a bunch of tabs. General tab, profiles tab, windows group, and encoding tab. Let's head to the profile tab first. Now here you can see we have different profiles to choose from. They all come with different color schemes, right? and themes but the one that we are gonna use is one dot and this might not be present in your case so what we need to do is we need to download the scheme from github i'll be providing the link in the description all right so simply like we'll just head back to desktop where we'll clone this and you can see the Atom one dot terminal is downloaded on our desktop. So just double click on it and go into the scheme and choose the terminal since we are modifying our terminal and double click on one dot terminal. As soon as you double click it, it will automatically be applied to your terminal and you can easily find it in inside the profile page. So after having our base ready, we are gonna tweak some font settings. Now be free to use any font as per your liking, but I'll be using the Menlo font. So we'll just close these and open it back. And again, we see that our one dark theme, our one dark theme is not there. So what we might need to do is we'll go to the Again, profile section and we'll choose the one dark and make it as a default. Okay, now if we close it and open it again, the new theme is applied. I'm going to change the font to Menlo. So in collections tab, click on all fonts and search for Menlo. It will be, yeah, here it is and we'll choose the size to be 18. All right, close this tab and restart the terminal and your settings will be visible. Having done that, we'll move to some different settings. For example, click on the blink cursor because that's your personal preference if you want that. Now let's go deselect these use bold fonts and deselect this allow blinking text now let's head to the window section now we're gonna deselect the active process now when I deselect it you can see here this bash vanishes and we want that right also deselect the path And profile name and obviously dimension so our main agenda is to make our terminal as minimalistic as possible and as modern as possible now one thing you can do is you can increase the window size but I'll keep it as it is now let's move to the tab section and here you just need to deselect the path active process name and show activity indicator in this shell 
tab so as you can see whenever i open the terminal i'm greeted with this this many locks which i but to be quite honest i do not like this so to clear them all we need to just run a command click on the run command and just type clear right and let's restart our terminal and boom those annoying comments are gone now all right i think we can skip the keyboard and advanced section you see we definitely have come a long way it is looking way better than the default look now let me show you the comparison now if you like the look of it you can leave it here as well but we're going to make it more interesting and lively so stick along so yeah now this will be uh this will be a bit technical to be honest we are going to we are going to modify our bash profile now yeah some of you might not be aware of what a bash profile is it's a kind of a script file that is executed automatically each time a user logs into a shell or terminal on a linux or mac os x now where is this file located it is usually find in your home directory to go to your home directory just simply type this file into my right now let's list, list all the files and directories that are present in this folder and you can see here that we have got this bash profile file present here now in order to edit it you can either navigate to the location that i just mentioned or and choose your favorite text to edit it or you can use the handy nano command right now it is highly possible that there is no such file present in your case so in that case you can simply create one using the touch command so you just need to run touch dot bash profile i'm not going to hit enter because i already have this file so let's just delete this now let's edit it we're going to use nano dot bash profile now we'll create one bash prompt file also but before doing that we'll just write source bash ops caps wrong bash prompt and that's it we're going to exit it type y and hit enter to save it let's create this bash prompt file now but before moving forward let me tell you what does the source command do now source or a dot is a bash shell built in command that executes the content of the file passed as an argument now in our case it simply means that it will execute the content present in the file called bash prompt right so let's first create the bash prompt file touch bash prompt and let's edit it all right we'll be placing all our terminal customizable data inside this bash prompt file so before moving forward what we want our prompt to look like is we first want our username to display so it will be kishan followed by the directory in which we are present let's say let's say we are on desktop so it will show desktop and let's say we were on our develop branch on some git pro project so it should show something like this followed by this in order to achieve this we will be writing some code all right but before moving forward we'll need to let our system know that this bash prompt file is actually a bash file in order to do that we need to write the following code also we want to have colors currently our terminal looks a lot like mid 80s so in order to activate those colors we'll need to export c l i color equals 1 what this does is it turn colors on 
after that we'll export don't worry you don't have to write all this stuff because I'll be putting them in the description so you just need to copy them and paste them in the file what this LS colors do is it helps us customize the colors that we just turned on now let's start setting up our prompt so first we need our username right now there are a few different prompts that we can customize but we'll stick up with the ps1 for this tutorial now ps1 is the primary prompt displayed in the terminal before each prompt before each command so let's just add our username for now so for that you'll just write ps1 equals this corresponds to our username and let's just export it export ps1 type ctrl x save it hit enter and let's just restart our terminal to show to let's see to see if something has changed and yes it does now it is showing our name again let's move to our home directory and continue our editing process it will be nano and then it will be bash profile not bash profile it was bash prompt all right so what this ps1 is does is you can see this u command right this slash u will help you uh fetch the username right and this 0.93 will help you wrap that username in some color now i'm gonna copy the code that will put the directory name and the git settings i'll put the link in the description after modifying those changes let's restart terminal and you will see something like this let's go to the desktop folder currently this github thing will only show if you are in a github repository but we're still not over yet we need some finishing touches for example i usually like the background to be a bit transparent so let's click on the background color and effects and reduce the opacity to let's something let's say 70 percent right now it's looking a bit better i usually tend to blur things out to around 30 percent and would you look at that just look at that this looks so much better than the earlier boring terminal also the, the text is slightly faded i usually prefer complete white lovely and if you highlight the text it's kind of grayish we can also change that by changing our selection let's add some greenish tint and yeah it's looking quite quite good now all right then i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you in the next one